and you ask. I'm going to show you another method of doing that evaluation of those polynomials when a value for x is given to you. This is called synthetic substitution. We just did direct. Now we're going to look at synthetic. And what we do with synthetic is kind of shortcut it. Makes it a little bit faster in order to understand the pattern. So what we do here is we're going to um, write what the x value given to you were, is. We're going to write that. We're going to draw this box or this part of the box just like this. To the left of this line, we're going to write down what x value was, what was given to us. We were told x was 3, so we write 3 on the outside. Then we're going to write the coefficients. inside here, but we're going to leave a little space below. And uh, we're just going to write the coefficients. Coefficient of this leading term must be in leading order in, 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 uh, in standard form. The coefficient there is 2. Coefficient for this x to the third term is negative 5. Coefficient for the, oh wait, we're missing one. Did you see we skipped? We went from x to the third to x to the first. We're missing an x to the second. So what does that mean the coefficient is? That's right, the coefficient is 0. So we need, to, we need to provide that spot there for it for the x to the second power. So we get x to the third, x to the second, or uh, x to the fourth, x to the third, x to the second, and then the coefficient for x to the first, and then the coefficient for x to the zero power, right? The negative eight, that constant term, positive eight. So now what we do, here's the process of the synthetic uh, um, uh, substitution method of evaluating the polynomial that we're going to follow. We're going to write, first thing we're going to do is we're going to write that leading coefficient underneath that line. And then, we'll, then we're going to do with the 3 and the 2 that we have, the number what value for x is, and that leading coefficient, we're going to multiply those two numbers together. Okay, In this case, 3 times 2 is 6. We're going to take that 6 and we're going to write it right underneath that next coefficient. And then we're always going to use the adding rule with those two numbers. So the signs are different, so I've got to subtract. Keep the sign a little larger, that's going to be positive 1. And I write that right underneath it. So when I add these numbers, right underneath it. That process, we're just with that machine, we're just going to keep cranking. So we're going to take this 1, just like we did 2 and 3. We're going to take 1 and 3. And what are we going to do with them? That's right, we're going to multiply them. Where are we going to write that number? That's right, right underneath that. And what are we going to do with those two? We're always going to add and write it right underneath. Now, what are we going to do with the 3 and the 3? That's right, we're going to multiply it, we're going to write what we got, then we're going to add using our adding rule. And then what we do, we got 15, we're going to multiply, we write, we add. This last number is the, is the value of that function, that polynomial function, when x is 3. When I plug 3 in here for x, I get 23. When I directly substituted it, that's how you do it with synthetic faster, quicker, easier, doesn't waste as much tree bark. <laughs> we are the Ask Academy.